Korea is reportedly preparing to add nine advanced submarines under Project 75I, with Cabinet Committee on Security approval, expected after commercial talks conclude. The first six submarines, estimated to cost rupees 90,000 crore to rupees 1 trillion, may be contracted soon, followed by three more a year later. Production is expected to start three years post-signing, with deliveries spanning over a decade. This move responds to rising naval threats from China in the Indian Ocean and Pakistan in the Arabian Sea. The submarines will feature advanced air-independent propulsion systems for stealth. A joint Indian-German bid involving Mazagon Dock and ThyssenKrupp is the only one to pass technical evaluation, signaling a shift from France's Scorpion program. This transition could stall Calvary-class production, impacting local shipyards, but reflects a strategic push for long-term maritime dominance. Following the recent Operation Sindor, India's Defense Ministry reportedly entered advanced talks with US-based Shield AI to procure and co-produce VBAT combat drones under a $4.5 billion emergency procurement program. The Indian Air Force may initially acquire drones worth $35 million, the upper limit under the emergency clause. A $90 million joint venture has also been signed between Shield AI and JSW Defense under which JSW will invest $65 million in the first year to establish licensing-compliant manufacturing infrastructure. The agreement aims to localize production, train manpower, and position India as a global manufacturing hub. VBAT drones, already in use by U.S. forces, are VTOL-capable ISR platforms designed for tactical missions. This deal not only enhances India's unmanned capabilities, but also advances domestic defense manufacturing under a strategic localization roadmap. In response to escalating tensions and rising cross-border crimes, the Union Home Ministry approved two key proposals in July 2025 to strengthen the border security force along the 4,096 kilometers India-Bangladesh border. This decision followed a comprehensive security review, prompted by political changes in Bangladesh, after the fall of Sheikh Hasina's government, on August 5, 2024. Over 5,000 night vision-enabled body-worn cameras are being deployed in two phases to help BSF troops document encounters with infiltrators and defend against allegations of excessive force. Additionally, select border outposts, are being equipped with biometric scanners to collect fingerprints and iris scans of detained illegal immigrants, creating a database for the Foreigners' Registration Office. These technologies aim to curb infiltration, smuggling, and violence while reinforcing BSF accountability and India's internal security efforts. India is preparing to launch controlled tourism at the sensitive Doklam Trijunction near the India-China-Bhutan border in Sikkim as part of its Battlefield Tourism Initiative aimed at promoting patriotism and strategic awareness. The first phase is expected to begin in late September, initially allowing 30 vehicles per day, potentially increasing to 50 based on security and road conditions. Visitors will require special permits monitored by the Indian Army and Ministry of External Affairs. The site, including the Chola Pass, played a central role in the 2017 standoff with China, when India intervened to support Bhutan and protect the Siligudi Corridor. Authorities emphasized the area's strategic significance and announced plans to open two more military sites in Sikkim. The broader initiative will cover around 30 such locations across India. India's DRDO has intensified efforts to develop hypersonic missile systems, aiming to counter advanced air defense threats. During a workshop in Hyderabad, DRDO Chairman Samir V. Comet stressed the urgency for faster, stealthier weapons. He cited recent battlefield success of systems like Akash and Brahmos and called for their swift induction. The hypersonic program includes over a dozen variants, 
such as glide vehicles, scramjet-powered cruise missiles, and interceptors. A notable milestone was the successful test of the long-range anti-ship missile in November 2024, capable of Mach 10 speeds and hitting targets over 1,500 kilometers away within eight minutes. In 2025, DRDO also completed ground trials of a scramjet combustor and advanced thermal-resistant materials. These innovations, backed by Hyderabad's hypersonic wind tunnel facility, are positioning India as a leader in next-generation missile technology. India's Aeronautical Development Establishment AD, under DRDO has proposed two indigenous high-altitude long-endurance UAV designs for strategic military use. The designs include a single-engine twin-boom variant for heavy-duty, long-range operations and a lighter whitetail variant, optimized for agility and rapid deployment. Both drones will use the TP-33110 turboprop engine, shared with house HTT-40 trainer, ensuring easier logistics. Equipped with six hardpoints, the UAVs can carry weapons like joint direct attack munitions, small diameter laser-guided bombs, and anti-ship missiles, or sensor pods for ISTER missions. Capable of flying over 35,000 feet for 25-plus hours, they will feature electro-optical and infrared sensors, and dual communication systems, line-of-sight and satellite communication or SATCOM. Operated via a ground control station, this marks India's transition from medium-altitude long-endurance drones to strategic high-altitude long-endurance platforms for enhanced defense autonomy. The 14th edition of the India-Singapore Joint Military Exercise, Bold Kurukshetra 2025, began in Jodhpur on July 14 and will continue until August 4. This year's drill features a tabletop exercise and computer-based wargame, focused on mechanized warfare under a UN mandate. The Indian contingent, led by Colonel Arjun Ganapati of the Mechanized Infantry Regiment, is joined by Singapore's 42 Armored Regiment, commanded by Lt. Col. Q. Ji Yong. Senior officers, including Brigadier Pritam and Col. Wang Zengyu, attended the opening ceremony. A ceremonial flag handover marked the start of operations. The exercise aims to enhance interoperability, share best practices, and showcase Indian Army capabilities. It reflects deepening India-Singapore defense ties, further bolstered by agreements, made during last year's Defense Ministerial Dialogue in New Delhi. <laughs> India's indigenous Tejas MK-1A fighter jet is advancing toward a critical milestone with a live-firing test of the Astra MK-1 Beyond Visual Range missile, scheduled for August 2025. This test aims to validate integration with the upgraded fighter, which now features an advanced ASA radar and modern avionics. Although the earlier MK-1 version successfully carried the Astra, the MK-1A requires fresh trials due to its enhanced systems. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has completed key pre-delivery checks for several MK-1A units, marking the program's transition into the rollout phase. While an initial delivery was planned for March 2024, delays primarily caused by engine supply issues have pushed the timeline. HAL now expects to complete delivery of 83 jets, ordered under a 2021 contract, by 2028. With six jets already ready, HAL aims to produce 16 more by financial year 2026-27, depending on steady supplies of General Electric F404 engines. An additional order for 97 jets is anticipated by late 2025, with deliveries extending through 2031. Production is underway at House Nashik and Bangalore facilities, supported by Indian private manufacturers. The Tejas MK-1A is set to play a key role in modernizing the Indian Air Force and phasing out aging aircraft like the MiG-21. In a significant boost to India's unmanned aerial combat capabilities, Rolls-Royce, 
has reportedly proposed a partnership with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to co-develop and manufacture a new engine for the Cats Warrior, a next-generation stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle. The proposal comes as HAL increases the drone's maximum takeoff weight from 1.3 to 2.1 tons, prompting a reassessment of its power plant needs. Currently powered by twin HAL PTEW engines, producing 3.7 kN of thrust each, the drone requires a more powerful engine to support heavier payloads and advanced mission systems. The CATS Warrior, developed by House Aircraft Research and Design Center, is designed as a loyal wingman, UCAF to operate alongside manned jets like the Tejas, Su-30 MKI, AMCA, and TED BF. The push for a stronger propulsion system is also driven by plans for the future CATS Warrior MK2, a heavier, more advanced strike variant capable of carrying up to 650 kilograms of armaments, including indigenous Astra BVRAMs. The proposed Rolls-Royce HAL collaboration could significantly advance India's indigenous drone and engine development efforts, reinforcing its long-term goal of self-reliance in defense technology. In a notable shift toward user-driven military design, the Aeronautical Development Agency ADA has announced that the cockpit of the upcoming twin-engine deck-based fighter, TED BF, is being developed entirely based on inputs from Indian Navy pilots. The announcement was made by Dr. Amitabh Saraf, the newly appointed director of ADA and program director for combat aircraft, who emphasized that naval aviators are central to the TED BF's design process. Intended to replace the Indian Navy's aging MiG 29K fleet, the TED BF is a key indigenous fighter jet program aimed at strengthening India's carrier based air power. The pilot-centric cockpit development seeks to enhance comfort, reduce workload, and improve situational awareness during high-pressure missions such as combat sorties and carrier landings. ADA is focusing on integrating advanced human-machine interfaces, large area displays, touch controls and helmet-mounted systems, technologies aimed at streamlining mission-critical operations. The collaboration with Navy pilots is expected to result in a cockpit optimized for real-world operational challenges. Dr. Saraf's leadership comes at a pivotal moment for India's aerospace development, as ADA also drives progress on the fifth-generation AMCA. The TED-BF's tailored design approach reflects India's maturing defense capabilities and push for greater self-reliance. That's all from YKS team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.